Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you all my favorites from the month of July. A lot of good stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I have um, a good mix of skin and beauty stuff, or skin and makeup stuff, I guess I should say. First is a product that I can say I probably love the most out of the whole bunch, and it's a Lush product. I did not expect to like this half as much as I did. It is the African Paradise Body Conditioner. This to me seemed like a good idea because I'm kind of lazy when I get out of the shower. A lot of times I don't want to use lotion. I just don't take the time to do it. I have stretch mark cream that I've been using that I like. I've been using the Mistella and I'm gonna talk about that in another video, I'm sure, coming up at some point. At this point I am right at 16 weeks pregnant. You think of this sort of like a conditioner for your body. So you wash, you use your loofah, your shower gel, whatever you usually do. And at the very end of your shower, you take a scoop of this and you just rub it on. And you don't even have to let it sink in. You can immediately rinse it and it leaves like, it feels a little oily and sticky at first, but um, you know, you rinse and you, you almost feel like a duck, like the water's running off of you. And then once you dry off and everything, it's like, amazing and it like literally feels like you have lotion on like and it will last all day long and into the next day I mean it is like really really good stuff so at first I thought this is perfect and I was using it on my belly because I was you know when your belly kind of starts growing like it is now you know my belly's not huge by any means it's just at the first stages of like growing a little it's itchy this was just perfect so I was using it on my belly and on my boobs and it was just so nice. And then I started using it everywhere. My arms feel so good. Like I don't have any of those little bumps. Like it is just the coolest stuff. I use it on my legs. Um, I probably have just like that much left and I need to get more. I do like this because unlike some Lush products that can still have funky ingredients, um, this one doesn't have any parabens or anything if you're concerned with that. I know that is a concern with like Lush products, with any products in general, but Good, good ingredients. I think it's got, um, let's see, shea butter, cocoa butter as well. Tons of different oils. Really, really nice. Um, you do have to watch out for certain essential oils when you're pregnant too, which is just nuts, all this stuff that you have to think about. But um, that is good, good stuff. So pregnant or not, I think everyone needs that. I have recommended that to like everyone that I know lately. If you get one Lush product, and you should just get that one Lush product, it's really good. I've been using, I'll get through all the skin stuff and then I'll do the makeup at the end. This is something brand new by Murad, and I don't even know if they have it out yet. If they don't, they probably will soon, but they sent this to me um, at the beginning of the month, I think, and it is the Murad Skin Smoothing Polish. So it's a new product. It says it deeply exfoliates to leave skin soft and smooth, helps relieve congested pores, and it's from their Pore Reform line. So it's a new addition to that line. I love this because there's no sketchy ingredients. There's no like salicylic acid or other acne ingredients, which a lot of times you can find, or a lot of like other sort of ingredients like that, which a lot of times you do find in scrubs and stuff. It's just a good scrub and it is really, really gritty. So I use this maybe only like twice, two or three times a week. So, and you need just the tiniest amount. It is, it's really awesome. If you like a good physical scrub, this is really awesome. I still use my Yes to Grapefruit scrub more as of like a daily scrub, but sometimes I really like when you want to really get in there like at night, like when you're really getting your makeup off and you just really want to like clean everything. Um, that is a good little treat. And another good treat that I have rediscovered is the magic of a peel off mask. Um, I had bought the blue one from Bosha a while back and liked it. It's very expensive, and I noticed it's just you go through that so much or so fast. Um, and I just, you know, you're just, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm being, again, careful about ingredients and skincare products. And so I feel like with peel-off masks, like I said, you have to use a lot, and that's in a very tiny bottle. It's expensive. So when I was at Ulta a while back, I picked up this Freeman facial peel-off mask, which the Freeman, you know, they're those cheap, it's a cheap brand of masks that you've probably used before. You've seen them at the drugstore or at Ulta or wherever, and this is their version of a peel-off mask, and they may have another one as well, but this is their cucumber one. This is really comparable. 
It feels good on your skin. I use this maybe once a week and I really love it. It says to wait five or 10 minutes, but, or until dry. But for me, to really get it to peel off good, you have to use a pretty thick layer. And you'll kind of figure it out when you're using it. It feels like glue when you're putting it on your face. I leave it on for maybe 15 or 20 minutes until it's like really good. You can peel off the whole thing in a sheet and sometimes it's really cool to look. You can see like little, little like clogged pores that like come out. It is so cool. This I would really recommend and it gets like little hairs off your face too, like all the little fine hairs. It's, it's kind of neat. So um, I really, really recommend this for the money. It's literally, it's like twice the size of that Bosha one and just a fraction of the cost. So that, that's a good one. Um, another skin product that I have been loving is the Mario Badescu Drying Cream. It has sulfur in it, so that's a safe, like, acne type product to use right now for me um, for spot treating. And I like it because it almost, like, when, when you're at home and you don't want to wear makeup, but you've got, like, stuff going on and it's like, you just still don't want to look like that. It's kind of neat because it's not going to be like flawless looking, but you, when you dab it on, it, it has a bit of a concealing property to it. So, you know, if you catch yourself in the mirror throughout the day, you're not going to be like, oh, you know, it just helps. But I like this. Uh, it smells bad, but it's, it's nice and I think that it works great. And you can even like dab it over like larger areas, like in thin, you know, thin amounts. So moving on to the makeup and stuff. Uh, with the whole Bare Minerals thing that I went through, and I still will reach for time to time, I've discovered, though, just, there's just nothing like liquid foundation. I mean, really, for me, at least. I know there's some people that really love that, but when you have oily skin, it's just really tricky, and so and the coverage is just... It's just so easy with liquid foundation. Um, and I'll do a demo on the Tarte. I'll just show you because a lot of you asked about it. This was the one I kept talking about in those videos. The one that I preferred. This is the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour by Tarte. The full coverage foundation. And I can apply this in like 20 seconds and it's like perfect. So I might do a tutorial on that or just a demo. It's so easy, but, um, but still I'll show you sometime coming up. And do like a little review. You already know I like it, but you feel me. Um, I did discover some really good Bare Minerals products though, and one of them was kind of unexpected, and it was this Flawless Definition Mascara. And I had never tried one of their mascaras before, but I had been using this one like crazy. It's what I'm wearing today. And it is one of those rubbery bristles, which I'm not usually a huge fan of, but I like them when they look like this, when they're really fine. Like you can see, it's just really... It's almost kind of like the Lash Blast brush, but thinner. You know, it's not as fat. But the bristles are just really, like, dense and close together. This is good stuff. It's the Flawless Definition. It gives you volume. It lengthens. And it's got good ingredients. So, again, um, good stuff. The Marvelous Moxie Lip Gloss is by Bare Minerals. I I've been wearing these, like, all month. This one came free with... It was like, you know how Ulta will do like those little gifts, like when you check out, they'll say, oh, you spent a certain amount in Smashbox or in Bare Minerals, whatever. You get this little tiny um, gift, and usually it's not super great, or it's, you know, a little sample. This is a really cool, cool one, and it's usually not even a color that you like, but I'm so excited that they gave me this, because I probably never would have tried it, and it's the Marvelous Moxie Lip Gloss in Daredevil. It reminds me a lot of the MAC Star Nova, but with just a little bit more color payoff. I love this because you can put it on without any lipstick and just get a lot of color. You know, it's just one of those good lip glosses that you can just do so much with. So you can layer it over things, you can wear it on its own. It just has really great color payoff and um, I really like the applicators. They're kind of one of those little like furry applicators, but it's it's um, slanted. So I, I really, really like that. And then this one came, I believe in the same kit that the mascara was in. And it's the Marvelous Moxie and Smooth Talker. This would be a good universal one. It's what I'm wearing today, although a lot of it's worn off because it was a while back when I did it. But I just applied this over a nude lip. You can use this on its own. You can use this over really any color and it's beautiful. But it's just a pretty pink with some gold to it. Uh, but these are pretty solid lip glosses and I kind of, you know, definitely when I use up some of my other lip glosses, I would definitely try more of those. Um, a couple more things, the 5-in-1 BB Advanced Performance Cream Eyeshadow SPF 15 by Bare Minerals, and this is in the color Soft Linen. These, I didn't even know they had. They have them in a ton of different colors, and the idea is that they're like a 5-in-1 cream eyeshadow. Um, 
a lot. I don't have the little packaging. I think I threw it away. But the five in one thing is like it's a primer. It smooths. It has SPF. It has color. Does something else. Crease proof. I don't know. But it's a five in one thing. When you put it on your eyelids and you blend it in, it, it just it instantly sort of almost dries and goes away, but it's blendable and it's like velvety smooth, almost like it feels like one of those like face primers, but not greasy. It's hard to explain, but it's beautiful. A lot of times I just wear it on its own. It's a really good match for my skin tone and I think a good one, if you're close to my skin tone, you could wear this and it would be almost like the idea of like a painterly paint pot or something like that. This is, um, this is really great. So I have been using this as my primer, no matter what color eyeshadow that I'm using. Um, and then also, you know, if you're not going to use anything, you can use it. And it just evens out your lids. You know, like if you have like little veins or little discoloration, it's just like foundation for your eyelids. But um, you don't need much at all. It's awesome. And then my Creme de Rose by Dior. I had lost this. It was in, I have one of those drawers like in our bathroom on my side, like where I have like a little vanity area where I could sit in there and do my makeup. And it's got like a long drawer. And this was in the very back, and I had lost this, and I was like, where is it? I thought I had gotten lost in a purse, or that it was in here somewhere. It had been lost for a while. So, um, now I'm, I'm almost through with it, but it's just, I just, I absolutely love this stuff. The smell is good. I mean, it's a rose-scented product, but this is probably the best lip balm that I own. I use it at night. I use it in the morning before I do my makeup. It's just really awesome. And like I've said so many times with this stuff, I've seen a lot of people say they don't like it because they feel like it's waxy or that they can't, you know, get any product. But when you first buy it, it does have a hard layer on top. And you sort of have to ruin it a bit. Not ruin it, but I like to just sort of, you can just put your finger down in it or just kind of press it a little hard to get it sort of broken through. And then it's just, it is just the most perfect stuff ever. Um, so I will definitely be repurchasing another one of those soon, but... Probably my favorite, favorite lip product that I own. So that's it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this peek into my favorites this month. Um, if you missed my pregnancy vlog on Wednesday, you can check that out. I'm so glad that you guys have been enjoying those. But I'm so glad that y'all have enjoyed those. I have gotten, like I said, just the best feedback. And um, I'm just really happy that y'all are enjoying that and that you guys are sharing this with me. I hope that you enjoyed the video. And I will talk to you all very, very soon. Bye.